Good morning. Good morning. Day two. Day two? I'd be at in four. Day two hiking. I get you hit up four fingers. Right. I was <coughs> day two. There you if go. I was gonna do four though, I would have done that. <laughs> just to be clear. <coughs> <laughs> We're on a trail to Bull Lake, Bullhead, Bullhead Lake, Swift Current. See how far we go. Don't know. If, go ahead. <laughs> like there's a lot of moose activity at the lake, so hopefully we see some moose today. Yep. See how far we get on this sucker. <laughs> she climbs about, I don't know, 3,000 feet at the very end. If you want to go over to the top. Probably not doing that today. It's straight up. <clears throat> After about 14 yesterday, it might just be an easy day. Pretty small right now. Yeah, for real. You guys want to see the smoke? Oh, there it is.
I don't know about this. Uh, Holy cow. <laughs> I got it cracked. <laughs> People just told us there's a bull moose up there. That's what we would get a glimpse of. He also asked us if we saw any bears because evidently we walked past two of them and didn't know it. So. So small, you know, and like delicate. Like, how do they not just smash them before they get them to their mouth? Right. I mean, really, look how little they are. Yeah. We're pretty sure these are huckleberries. They're delicious. Yum. So the grunt we heard was a moose. He's straight across in the woods. There he is. You can see his horns kind of moving around right in the middle of the frame here. It'd be super cool if he needed a drink right now. Heck yeah. Big old guy. He even came out to the water for a drink. Conquered that. Now we're going to head up, up that mountain for a while. Yep, we're going to head up towards Swift Current Pass. Even Bullhead Lake. It's really pretty up in here. Kind of nerve wracking though. <laughs> in the moose and the grizzly bears. Toward Swift Current Pass, which we won't make it there because my legs won't get us there. <laughs> but we're gonna, we were just right down there on a lookout point, ate lunch, talked to a super awesome older couple. That, that has a van, hero. travels in a van that he, he converted himself since what do you say, 14 or 15? 15? 15? Yeah, he's like the godfather of. Vanny. So before Vanny was even cool, he had one, he made one. Yep. If you look over there, there is a giant waterfall, which is really cool. And uh, it's a big glacier above it. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's so hard to get a sense of scale and perspective around here, but that water's got to be dropping. It's got to be dropped at 500 feet. It has to. It's no way. No way it's not. 3, 350 with the absolute limit. But anyway, 
This trail is going to go up pretty close to one of these waterfalls. Then we're just going to switch back and it's going to go back out on a point again. So up there by that waterfall, you can kind of come see, see coming down there. We're going to go to the next lookout. Oh, I'm tired. Oh, I'll probably, probably turn around, which, which will be about, I don't know, six and a half miles probably at that point. So it's going to take us six and a half to get back. It's just hard to stop going when it's this pretty. Yeah, the smoke's not awful. You can it's, see the red coming back in the mountains there. Early, you couldn't even see the red because it was so smoky. It's gotten better as the day's gone on, which is different. Well, we went up a little further. We just can't stop. I don't know if it's our pride or if it's the unknown of what we could see if we continue to go. But there's another lake we found being up a little higher. It's crazy. So much water. Photographer. If we keep going, we'll go up there and then up that way. I mean, I can't. I need to keep it. I can't fit it all. Video just cut off. So you continue up that way. And then we were thinking you could get out on that point there, but it doesn't go all the way out to the point. We just watched a guy come down, so you would stay like right in through there as the trail and you'd come back up. So we really don't think our view would be any different there than it is right here. So we're probably gonna call it a day. Our easy day is probably gonna turn into a 12 miler anyways. It, no, it, it will. I mean, okay, it will. It. If we keep going, it'll probably be more like 14 again so that's that <laughs>of this one so we have uh wildlife check check we saw a moose which was super cool so we're gonna give that a 10 and then we've got um scenery 10 10 Elaborate fishing a we got fishing so owen owen's got a uh, he's got a what what, what was his vacation there was thing about fishing and wildlife and body feel really good fishing in those lakes right there which we didn't do but a guy could come up here and you'd have your forest type trail you could fish there was grizzlies on the way up here which we didn't see but they were there you can come up here and see waterfalls which is fantastic you can go where we just came from which was up higher walking on cliffs and you've got you can get up here and have 360 degree panoramic views to rival any of them so i think okay so we got a 10 on wildlife we got tens across the board yep on feet feel good body feel good give it a 10 yeah whatever owen scale was be maxed out on this trip yep, yep. don't we, know what that is we found uh all five stars plus one on this one. So yeah, this was, if you're in Glacier, you need to do this one. Swift current pass. Get her done. Uh -huh.